Ocean acidification is a process that has also been called the evil twin of global warming. It's a problem that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is causing because as the carbon dioxide dissolves in seawater, it forms a weak acid. It's not a really strong acid, it doesn't really do anything to us, we don't feel it, we don't feel that it burns our skin or does anything like that. But it is important for marine organisms because marine organisms that try to secrete calcium carbonate shells like clams, like snails, corals, even some fish and some crabs, they try to secrete these shells and it makes it a lot harder for them if the water is a little bit more acidic. So the reason why we know that the oceans are acidifying is that the, the actual act of forming this acid is a very simple chemical process. So if we dissolve more carbon dioxide in the ocean, we can calculate what the change in acidity is going to be. So on the one hand we can calculate it, on the other hand we can also observe it. There are some snails, planktic snails, they're tiny little um, beautiful little shells. They look like butterflies. They're made out of a form of calcium carbonate that is called aragonite. And this aragonite happens to be very, very soluble in seawater. And put, so it's very vulnerable to acidification. In the high latitudes where the water is cold, the ocean sucks up a lot more carbon dioxide than it does in the tropical oceans. And so these snails actually experience a lot more acidification than, than in other places. And it turns out that these snails are a major food source for Pacific salmon. And so if the Pacific salmon cannot feed on those snails, then the Pacific salmon might actually disappear at some point. So all of this has effects in the end for our food chain, and that is what we're concerned about. But we have observed these changes already. So we have observed that the oysters hatch, but they cannot secrete their, their first little shells. We see that these pteropods, they're growing thinner shells, and the shells are malformed. We're seeing that in many plankton organisms. We see it in sea urchins. We see it in crabs. We see it in a number of different organisms. All of them are secreting calcium carbonate shells, and they're having a hard time to, to make their shells. We have time periods in Earth history where the acidity of seawater has changed, whether it was due to massive volcanism or whether there are any other carbon impacts that have changed the carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere. And we can study those times and with those times we can then see how the ecosystem was behaving, how acidic it got, how the temperature was changing at the time, how warm it was. So understanding how the system behaves in the past allows us to understand what we're doing today and depending on what the projections are for the warming and for the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere, we can make better predictions of what that means for the seawater chemistry and also for the organisms that live in that seawater.